Hey, thank you so much for clicking CSM videos. In this video, we are going to learn about the most ex exciting new features in Windows Server 2278 Active Directory, and that is the fine grain pass password policies. Fine grain pass password policies we we create are rep represented by the uh, password setting objects uh, within Active Directory, and uh, we also call it as the PSO password setting object PSO. Our standard Active Directory objects are, are and are stored on, under the system container in the domain partitions. Uh, we can see here uh, when you op open the Active Directory users and computers, uh, dsa.msc, then uh, go to the system OU, then under the system OU, you, you will find out that uh, uh, password setting container. Inside that, we, we create that policy. And by using these policies, we can have uh, multi uh, different uh, different settings uh, password policy settings for the uh, different ou or the group of users and we can target by using uh, uh, the any security groups and before these uh, features uh, we do not have any uh, other password policies we we used uh, we have to use only one uh, like domain label password policies and see like uh, if 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 you see uh, we have the different uh, kind of a uh, uh, different different users here this OU having the uh, we we can set it up uh, uh, different password policy for this OU and for this one we can set it up a different one. So uh, in this video we will uh, view the existing PSO that we already have into our Active Directory domain and we can create few uh, by using the Active Directory administrative send. We also have a look on to the PowerShell command. That so, uh, let's start and if you are not subscribed to CMA, please do subscribe uh let's have a scenario like you you want to create a app application or any any uh, target any group of users it could be uh, any service account or um, or the managed ser uh, service account or the any any app application or the group of users uh, it could be for the security purpose you you want to uh, assign a password policy that will have character limit of the 10 or more than 20 so by using that we can do that and to create a fine grain password policy we have to open the active directory active directory uh, administrative center so click uh, search for active directory administrative center and right click and open it as administrator so we will uh, will not have any any kind of the access related issues so here you you can see we we have all already two uh, uh, pso created uh, let's have a have a look uh, for the properties so, so we can uh, uh, know like what properties are required so once we open the properties and we go to the administrator and uh, let's filter out with the mandatory fields so we'll have that that fields only <laughs> mandatory fields the password settings object uh, they say the uh, msts password setting precedence uh, basically the order of precedent uh, of the pso in the event that uh, multiple psos will apply to the users and uh, how it will going to target which one will going to apply first and the last uh, in in case if you have multiple psos in the in in environment any values that is greater than one and uh, that is not less than or equal to 2 147 483 six uh, four six is valid and it's recommended that you define a unique precedence uh, value for each pso in your domain the lowest precedence uh, value always wins a com conflict so make sure you have to uh, careful about these things so password reversible encryption so it's basically toggle is storing the password with the reversible encryption and the password history length the number of previous passwords stored in Active Directory, uh, then complexity enabled toggle password complexity checking, and the length and the aging, and the password age and the uh, logout threshold. The number of uh, failed logon attempts are necessary to trigger a locked out, and then we have the lockdown uh, locked out duration, the number of minutes of uh, account locked out. So. We will we'll have all the uh, here we can see the maximum password age is 42 uh, then uh, minimum is so one day one and the uh, length should be 24 for the high security password policy we can see to uh, to create the pso object we we have to open the active directory administrative center 
then navigate to the system OU that we have already here try to double click on it it will open and then look for the password setting container here we have and once we are here from the right side click on new then click on password settings it will list out all the settings that we have discussed we can specify the name here that will like uh, it will for the test pso and uh, we can also define the uh, precedence we use two as a precedent then the enforce length minimum uh, we can have seven then enforce the 24 should be the enforce history uh, num number of password there we keep it at there was 24 and we have here defined the duration in a minutes like uh, locked out uh, timing and the uh, counter these settings are default if you want we can also uh, just select here and define all this parameter as, as it is so we are not doing that so let's keep as it is that we have here and we can also add the description uh, to it like this space so we'll have uh, max length should be like uh, uh, seven or uh, like make it a 10 max max length should be 10 if you change uh, here from uh, then we can apply select uh, click on add from where we are going to apply this we can have an a specify the name or the user id that we you would like to apply <clears throat> you can also do the same thing using the powershell commands as well so here we have uh, the same command we have to just specify the uh, new ad fine grained password policy then the policy name or uh, then the complexity uh, should be enabled so we can add set it as true then locked out duration in a minutes then observation window and then threshold maximum age and the minimum password is all the all the attributes uh, should be here are defined and uh, we can add add this password policies by using the same command that we have add hyphen ad find grand password policy subject and then uh, you will you have to provide the uh, policy name here we have test uh, pswd and then hyphen subject then you have to define uh, specify the group name where you want it to apply and you can check out uh, check the resultant policy uh, like uh, if we have more than multiple password policies uh, we have so uh, just go to the users tab or the search for the any users that you know uh, let's search for any test so it's not getting out so directly go to the users for you then we have the number of users i just tried to check for the resultant policy so i am checking for the elena right click and just select the view resultant password settings so here user does not have any resultant fine grained password policy it means this user is only having the default domain password policies so this is how we can create a different uh, fine grained password policy and we can have different different kind of uh, uh, password policies uh, for the different uh, OUs and uh, we can target the application and groups.